first grip I want, uh, if I get this, this sleeve grip, I'll get a nice deep collar grip with this right hand. Do like this. Now, most people when they go to open the, the closed guard, it's really important that John controls my hips here. Uh, if his arms fall, like if I can pull his arm forward like this and he doesn't, even just probably there. If he's not controlling my hips, then it's going to be much easier for me to climb up for the, for the arm bar. So as soon as I've, I've got this arm, he's pretty, it's in his interest to start pushing down on that hip. So when I go for the arm bar, I can't actually lift my hips up. So we're going to take advantage of the fact that his, that his hand's here on the hip, and we're going to start looking for the triangle. So I'm going to get a nice deep grip with my right hand here like this, in the collar. My first movement, I'm going to open my guard. I'm going to put my foot on the hip here. I'm going to move my hip out to the um, to my right, like this, as I start to straighten my leg. Yeah. So foot on the hip. Uh, really important. Also, whenever you put the foot on the hip, it's never with your knee open. It's always like with your knee trying to catch that elbow. So when John tries to pull his elbow back behind my hip, it should be stuck. Yeah. So we're here. Collar, sleeve. Foot goes on the hip. Bring my hips out to the side here, straighten my left leg, and he's going to hold on here. This hand, he'll think, is blocking the, the triangle. So if I did go to shoot for the triangle here, it's not going to work, yeah? You see that? So I'm going to deal with that hand with my leg. So now that my hips out here, I'm going to bring my leg over the top with my shin. I'm going to try and bring my shin flat across his chest here like this. So this is not enough just to do this. I think I'm so a lot of people last time I taught this, they put a stop here and then try and go for the triangle. It's too loose, it's still going to block. I need to like break that grip. So when I get here, I'm going to pull and push and kick my shin until it's in contact with his chest. Pull your arm out here, John. Okay, now this one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay, good. So, you've got like maybe one second here like this, where you've trapped their arm and you've got enough time to pull your leg over the top, so you, you, it's not a move you can just wait for, you have to go for it reasonably. So, again, here like this, foot's going to go on the hip, next to the, um, next to their shoulder, hip out, now over the top with your shin, and I want you to kick it in really tight, here like this. Now, pull them as far forward as you can, the further you pull forward the better. So with this elbow, I'm like, kind of like sitting up and pulling like that, yeah? Different to going like this. Pull back against me here. Who wins? Go again. He beats me. Go now. Yeah. So I'm like up on my, on my. I'm not resting on it. I'm actually trying to like pull it back further and further and further. So we're gonna go here. Foot's gonna go on the hip. And hip out. Come over the top. Get my shin in really tight. Everything's pulling hard. And then as I'm doing that, as I've got that pressure, I'm starting to slide my hip out to the other side. My leg straightens here. So it goes from shin being across his arm to straight. But see how I'm still above that arm. From here, my leg comes up, and I lock out the triangle. One more time, foot's gonna go on the hip. I'm gonna hip out, come over the top, Pressure, pull, hip goes to the other side, and I lift. See how my foot's still on the hip there? That lets my hips come up to, towards his head. Like that. Nice and easy to cut the angle and finish the trunk. Over here, pushing off, lifting our hips. Let me take the triangle around. 